It's the abominable monster man. Hey! What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the G1 Abominus. So here we are, and there they are. And usually, first and foremost, I would take a quick look at the packaging, but I don't have any original packaging for these guys, but I do have a I have an empty can of Progresso chicken noodle soup. That is it. That is my contribution to this conversation. So here we have the five Terracons that make up Abominus. We have Blot, we have Cutthroat, we have Hunger, we have Sinner Twin, and we have Ripper Snapper. But before we get down to the figures themselves, let us bring out the Bible. The Transformers Identification and Price Guide by Mark Balomo. And if we open our Bibles up to page 155, we're not going to do all five bios. We're just going to do the bio for Abominus himself. So, Abominus, Function, Super Warrior, Motto, Chaos is my only ally, and Destruction, my only friend. Cool. <laughs> Abominus transforms into the five Terracons, has overwhelming destructive power, likes attacking large or moving objects, climbing tall buildings and sinking ships, has no heart, soul, and is nothing more than a killing machine. Abominus carries a sonic concussion blaster. So now that we know about Abominus, let's talk about the boots that make up Abominus. Anyway, uh, so let's start off with Blot. I think everyone's favorite, and he is just a, uh, he's a, he's, he's, he's a thing. What does the Bible call him? The Bible calls him a, he's just a monster. The Bible just calls him a monster. And yeah, that he is, he's just a weird looking, he's just a weird looking thing. I don't know. Um, yeah, I got stickers. Um, these are the original stickers. Um, I don't know if I'll buy repro labels for them at some point, but yeah, they all have, they all have the original stickers on them. Yeah, Decepticon sticker right there. He does have the rub sign. Let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can get it to work. Let's see. Will it work? Not really. Rubbing the rub sign. I know people get annoyed when I rub the rub sign for some reason. People act like I haven't had these since the 80s and I don't know how rub signs work. I know how they work. They're heat activated, but sometimes just holding your thumb on it doesn't do anything because your hands have to actually be warm. And there we go. He's a Decepticon. Hooray. So articulation wise, his head can move up. His arms can rotate. He does have an elbow, kind of like on a little soft ratchet deal going on there. So you have thooping, some thooping action there. And his legs can rotate. And that is pretty much it. Um, he does come with his own set of weapons here. He has this little backpack deal and he has this gun right here. And you can plug all this onto his monster mode. This just plugs into his back like so. And this gun pegs into the side like that. And there he is with his weapons. Hooray, hooray for weapons. And that's pretty much it for his uh, for his monster mode. So let's get down to transformation. <laughs> We're gonna do that five times. That's right, five times. So let's remove the weapons and get started. So, extend the legs, flip them back. That's all you're doing with the legs, flipping them back. His head is tucked in right in here, and I usually cannot, oh, I actually got it out. Oh, I usually need a tool to help me get that out. It's the first time this actually worked with me. Let me flip up his little head and his little monster arms just fold back like so. Then we bring out his little, his little stumpy robot arms. <laughs> and there you go, there you have Blot in his robot mode and uh yeah you know i mean it's a g1 combiner limb bot so there's not a whole lot to it he's very blocky very bulky very just all kinds of yeah <laughs> let's get a look at our tiny little head sculpt oh his head's so tiny he's a tiny little head and the visor's painted but yeah, um, articulation-wise, you know, I guess you can use that joint and have him looking up. So, squirrel! I don't know, you can have him doing squirrel. His little stumpy arms just rotate up that far. His legs don't do anything. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I can give him his little gun right there. And he can pew, pew, bang, bang, pew, pew, bang, bang. I don't think he can. Can he hold this too? I think he can, actually. 
I've never thought to actually give him this gun to hold, but he... Oh, he can't hold that too. So there you go. You can hold both those weapons if you want, hey? But, yeah, it's okay. You can just have one gun. I don't care. I don't care! He just needs one gun for pew-pewing and bang-banging. So there you go. There you have Blot. And next up, we have Whoosh! We have Cutthroat. And what does he turn into? The Bible says he turns into a hawk. He is a hawk thing. And see. Again, these are all original stickers on him. I always like this paint scheme, personally. I don't know. Just for some reason, the paint scheme appeals to me. The color scheme appeals to me. The yellow and the green and the purple. I don't know. I dig it. I dig it. And he has the rub sign. Let's see if we can get it working. No, not really. See, again, sometimes just holding your thumb on it doesn't work. I know everybody, all you gotta do is hold your thumb on it. There you go. It, it barely worked. But again, sometimes just a good old-fashioned rubbing. A good old-fashioned rubbing on the rub sign really makes it work. There you go. He's a deceptive cotton, in case you didn't know already. And uh, articulation-wise, his head can move down, although it reveals his robot mode head, but it can move down. It can move up and down at this joint here. His wings can move back, but they'll bring out the robot mode arms, but you can, you know, position those wings if you want. And his legs can rotate as well. And there you go. Now, as far as weapons, he only has one. He just has a little double-barreled blaster right here. You can plug this onto his butt, like so, and have that going on, or flip that back, have that as like a tail, I guess. You can do that too, if you want to. Hey, all things you can do if you wanna do it, but that is basically it for Cutthroat there. So let's get another transformation shot. <laughs> Remove that. And transformation, just extend the legs. Bring the beast mode legs back, bring the wings back to bring out the robot mode arms, bring down the hawk head onto his chest, flip out his little bitty stumpy arms, and there you go. Use the beast mode legs as heels because he kind of doesn't balance well. There you go. And there you have Cutthroat in his robot mode. And getting close here on that itty bitty head of his, you can see a visor done in red. And again, the tiny stumpy arms. Legs, things, stuff just hanging everywhere. Because, you know, it's a G1 toy. <laughs> Articulation-wise, again, you know, you can kind of use the, the joint there, the combiner joint, to have him look up. His arms can rotate only that far. And the legs don't do anything. Because, hey, it's a G1 toy. They don't really move all that much. And, of course, we can give him his little gun. You can hold it like that or... I'm not quite sure about the orientation. Maybe it's supposed to be like this, but it extended like so. I don't know. Could be. Could be like that. That could work too. I don't know. Hey, do what you want. As always, yours. It's your figure. Display it however you wish. Me personally, I like, kind of like the uh, the shorter version myself. But hey, there you go. There you have Cutthroat. And now we move on to the Sinner Twin. And the Bible says he turns into a... Two-headed monster. That's it. Just a two-headed monster. <laughs> if that's what the Bible says it turns into, that's what it turns into. I don't question the Bible. I don't question it. I don't question it. But there he is. He has two heads. Grr. Grr. Double grr. You know. Again, with the yellow and the green. Got purple tails. This has two stickers there. Very faded Decepticon sticker there on the shoulder. Sticker right there. Um, articulation wise, you can move these up, you know, move the heads up, but again, kind of reveals the robot mode head. Front legs can rotate, hind legs can rotate, tail, tails rather, can move up if you need them to. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, as far as his accessories go, he does come with this big old cannon right here, just done in green. You can plug that on top, like so, and you can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. He does come with a little Handgun as well for robot mode, but I don't think that actually stores anywhere. I don't think so, so we're just going to leave that off to the side. If it does, oh well. It's a G1 toy. Who cares about storage? But. And of course, he does have the uh, the rub sign. Can we get this one to work? Let's see. Not really. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Can we rub it? Give it a good rubbing. We have to do this. I don't care. We have to do this. We have to actually... Get the rub sign going. There we go! He's the Decepticon. Are you shocked? I know I am. There you go. There you have Sinner Twin in his beast mode. And let's get down to transformation. That way. <laughs> okay, so. Put that off the side. We just want to take the legs, bring them back, bring the tails back. 
send the legs downward and then we can bring the heads back rotate these legs back flip out his little stumpy arms they all have little stumpy arms these poor terracons they didn't get a break in the arm department <laughs> and there you go there you have center twin in his robot mode and again this is little there's little head there's little face oh yeah, not much to it. He's missing stickers. Again, I may have to get some uh, repro labels for these guys at some point. But, yeah. Um, articulation was, you could, I think, actually, I don't think his head actually moves there. Oh, yes, it does. Oops. Nope, it does, but you'll probably, nope, I broke it. I just broke it. I just broke it. That's not supposed to move, and I just broke it. Okay, I'm going to have to glue that back together. Ooh, boy. That's not, that's, okay. So don't do that. I thought that had moved down. No, it doesn't move down, apparently. What happened? Oh, well, okay. That's that's painful. That hurts. That hurt my soul a little bit there. That's okay. I'll glue it back together. It's all good. It's all good. It is all good. So the head doesn't move at all. No. Arms. His little stumpy arms <laughs> move up and down. Are you traumatized like I am right now? You probably are. I am definitely. What? That's, okay. that's an action feature. It's okay. You can decapitate him. That's all. That's all it is. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> those little stumpy arms can move up and down. Legs don't do anything. And we can give him his big old gun. I like this gun. I actually like the design. It's a big old blaster. You can put that in his little hands. And he can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. And oh, I got my head shot off. You know, that can, that's it. It's an action feature now. It's an action feature. I so have to fix that. I have to fix that. Anyway. Oh. Alrighty. So. On to, <laughs> that was unexpected, on to Ripper Snapper, who is, what do they call Ripper Snapper in the Bible? They call him a bipedal lizard. That's what the Bible calls him, a bipedal lizard, I guess. That's what, he's more like a, like a weird shark monster thing, really, is what I would call him. He's a shark, like a weird shark monster guy thing, but anyway. Getting close here, hopefully we don't break him too. <laughs> Look at the details. Again, he has some stickers. He's missing some stickers as well. These stickers are really beaten up. But, there you go. Give you the turn around. And articulation wise, you can, you know, move that head up, but again, reveals the robot mode head, so you might not want to do that. Arms can rotate, legs can rotate. This little tail can move up and down too. You can wag his tail. And, and you have that. On oh, as far as accessories go, he does include this little double barreled blaster right here, which you can plug onto his back, wait, press that down all the way. Plug that onto his back, and also gives him his, uh, his fin right there, which is pretty cool. You got that going on, he does come with a blaster for robot mode as well, but I don't, I guess you're gonna, yeah, there you go. <laughs> storage, I don't know, it's a G1 toy, who cares about storage, but there you go, there you have. Ripper Snapper, so let's get down to transformation, shall we? <laughs> I never break them spinning them, I break it just trying to move it, move his head, but anyway. Yeah, just flip up the tail, flip the legs back, extend the robot mode legs. These arms just go back, the head just tucks back, Finds back like so. We flip out his little stumpy arms like so. There you go, there you have Ripper Snapper in his robot mode. And his little tiny head. So his yellow visor. And stumpy, stumpy little arms. And not a whole lot to it. Just all the limbs just hanging out back there. <laughs> the shark monster's just kind of doing a yoga pose now. Yeah, no, that's how he transforms. Now, articulation-wise, I'm not going to try to move the head because... No, that does wiggle. There's wiggle there. I don't know if that's supposed to come all the way down. I'm not going to try to do it because I don't want to break it, but there is some wiggle there. I'm scared. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it, so yeah, it, it, there's a wiggle. I'm not gonna, I am not I don't want to break it. I don't want to break another one. So, his little stumpy arms do move up and down, and that's pretty much it. And we can give him his little gun right there. So you can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. And there you have Ripper Snapper. And on to the final component, my personal favorite. Here we have Hunger, and Hunger 
holds a very special place in my heart because I did have this figure when I was a kid. Um, this is not my childhood hunger. That one did not survive my childhood. Um, but I did have hunger when I was a kid. Um, without any of the combiner parts, it was literally just this by itself. This is what I had as a kid. No accessories, but I loved him. I loved him dearly. So... I'm very happy that I have it back in my life, but as you can see here, he is a, uh, what does, what, what does the Bible call him? They call him, uh, another two-headed monster. There we, I mean, that's, it's accurate. He's a two-headed monster, so it's not wrong, really, when you think about it, you know. But we're getting close there. Let's see. Heads nicely done. Again, he's missing some stickers. But hey, it's all right. Got the spikes there, done in purple. More spikies. More spiky spikies. His big old feet. And of course, he does have the rub sign right back here. Can we get it to work? Let's see. A mm, little bit. Oh, yeah. oh, we'll, just, we'll just give it a good rubbing. A good rubbing reduces heat. Better than holding sometimes. There we go. He's a Decepticon. Yay! And articulation wise. Heads can move up and down. You got a joint here as well. Heads can move up. They can also move out to the side. They can move them this way. Kind of have that look going on if that's what you want. So, hey, lots of joints on the necks here. The front legs can rotate. They can move in. That's for transformation, but hey, they can move in if you need them to move in. Hind legs can rotate on a nice ratchet. And you also have a knee there and you even have a toe joint, which is nice. And that is pretty much it. Now, Hunger comes with the uh, combined mode parts. So you got the big old gun. You have the chest shield. Um, as far as storage goes, now I do still have... I do have his, his original instructions, and the instructions don't say anything about where to store this stuff. Um, I've just seen pictures of it just kind of like plopped here on, you know... With the shield just kind of plopped the top. Like that. So, you know, that's a thing you can do if you wanted to do it. And that does kind of fit there. So, you know, hey, that's a thing you can do. If you want to do it, I don't know. You can flip this out, too. That's more for robot mode storage, but you can kind of do that. Plug that in there. Okay, there we go. You can do that, too. I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. Whatever. It's a G1 toy. Who cares about storage? Yeah, anyway. So that's basically it for the beast mode. So let's get down to transformations, oh, wait. <laughs> oh, you almost knocked down his teammates there. It's okay. It's okay. They're tough. They can take it. So to transform him, you just straighten these out. Flip these up to form his feet. That's all done. Take these legs and they just swing to the back like so. You just bring the arms around. They need to raise up because he's the tall guy of the group. Take the uh, beast no toast. I'll just flip that back. Flip out his hands. Like so. This one's always stiff on mine. There we go. Flip that out. Bring that around. Put that in. Bring that out. Then we just bring the tail back, which reveals the head. Turn the head around. He does have a, he has a hollow head. So again, people complain about hollow parts. Been a thing since day one, but anyway. So there you have Hunger in his robot mode, and he was always my favorite because, again, you know, had him when I was a kid, so he holds a dear, dear special place, a dear special, a dear special place in my heart, a special place in my heart, not special, special, although special is also special as far as that word goes. But anyway, articulation-wise, his head can rotates his arms he can do a full 360 he does hey he can fall flat on his back he can take some bumps he does have an elbow joint with under 90 degrees of bend the hands can move down due to transformation so you know technically counts as wrist articulation legs can go forward back not really outward he can do the full splits he can do that too you break his knees he does actually have a knee joint too which is pretty cool and the toes can move down and there you go. Now, as far as his accessories go, again, you can take the uh, abominous chest shield here, and this can plug in to his arm like a big old shield, and you can give him a big old gun, and he can hold that like 
a big old gun. So you can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. And there you go. There you have your terror cons. Now before we combine these guys, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna glue his head back on. So no, I'll be right back. All right, I got him back in one piece. It's okay. It's all right. It's fine. It's fine. Look, I looked it up. I can get a new one off eBay for ten bucks. A new old one. You know what I mean. But anyway, if I want to replace him, I can replace him. But anyway, all right. So let's get down to the combination. So let's get down to it. So. We'll start off with Blot here, we'll remove his gun. Now this is my personal configuration for the combination here, so as always, it's yours. You can combine them however you wish, but I have Blot as a leg here, so we just compress everything up, and we just plug a foot onto him. Oops, wrong spot, there we go. Plug a foot onto him, like that, and there we go. He's ready to go. And Cutthroat, we just remove his gun, the wings come forward, this comes back, hopefully it won't break. Oh, see, this this scares me now, this just scares me now. I like to bring a little head out like that, just kind of bring these up. I forget how I had these. Well, no, we'll, see. we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, I forget how I had this. But we just plug in a fist and he is ready to go. I think this needs to be up here like that, I think that's the way. So it's clearance. I don't remember how I had these guys. I had them on my shelf forever and I didn't pay attention to how I had them set up. Anyway, we'll take center twin and we just bring his little arms down. Bring the little arms down. These arms come forward so we can just compress this up like that and everything just kind of tucks in like that. And we give him last foot. And there we go. And as far as cutthroats, I mean not cutthroat, you are whippersnapper. <laughs> Whipper, he's a little whippersnapper. Rippersnapper, you little whippersnapper. Anyway, this does come down uh, without breaking. Thank God, this does come down. All right, so we just do that. He gets the other fist, like so, and he is good to go. So our limb bots are all prepped and ready. As far as hunger, we just take out the gun, we remove the chest shield and to get him all ready to go. We just flip his hands back, bring that back, put the hand back, bring that back, just straighten all this out. Legs come out at the hip, move in at the knee, out the hip, in out to the knee, and then we take this. Put that in, this will plug onto his chest, like so. We bring in the combined mode head, that just plugs over his, like that. And there we go, we're ready to combine. So, bring in Blot, clips right on. Center twin. Get on there, get, get, get on there, don't break on me. Get on there and please don't break, that's all I'm asking. Stay one piece for me, man. Stay one piece for me. There we go. Got that. And then we have arm. Arm. I kind of like to bring these wings back like that. That's personally what I like to do. Again, as always, it's yours. Display it however you wish. And plug the gun in to his hands. And there you go, there you have Abominus, and uh, yeah, he's a G1 combiner, as G1 combiners tend to be, just kind of weird, and blocky, and yeah, you know, hey, <laughs> yay, <laughs> but I love him, I love him anyway, so let's get in close here, on all that noggin, you can see a nice purple face there, yellow for the eyes, big old chest piece going on there. That sticker detailing. And here's a big old feet. Oh, you know. He's a G1 combiner. He's he's a G1 combiner. <laughs> as far as articulation goes, again, the arms just rotate. They don't do much. You can rotate the wrists if you want. Legs. He actually does have leg articulation. You can move his legs out. You can actually move his legs up, forward and back. So he actually has more articulation than most combiners. He has knees too. He has a knee joint there. 
Which, hey, that's that's a thing you can do. Then we can kind of rotate his feet. So, hey, he actually has poseable legs, which is, you know, that's that's nice. That's a nice change. So, hey, I'll take it. And for comparison, as you know, I like to keep the uh, comparisons G1 in these G1 reviews. So, as with uh, Menasaur, you can see he's a bit taller than Mr. Menasaur. Here he is with old Trigger Crotch G1 Megs. And here he is with G1 Optimus Prime. So, there you go. So there you have G1 Abominus, and I love that he's kind of poseable. Look, you, you turn his head and everything. Ah. But yes, there is another Friday G1 fun day. As far as Abominus goes, um, he's definitely one of my favorite combiners. I like him. But yeah, as always, he's an oldie, but a goodie. Just some good old-fashioned blocky boxy G1 fun. Now, the last time I reviewed a G1 toy, somebody in the comment section was like, Oh, this video is proof why I don't buy G1 toys because I like what we have today with all the engineering and articulation and, you know. And yes, I, I, I love what we have today. For the most part. They're not all winners. <laughs> For the most part. I, I love what we have today. Yes, it's, it's come a long way since these days. But always remember, without this, we would not have what we have today. Without the past, we would not have the present, so give credit where it's due, because this paved the way, and this is what has inspired what we have today. So respect your elders! Anyway, but there you go. Now, if you would like a G1 Abominus of your own, just, just look around. I don't know. Just look around. You'll find one somewhere. And of course, for all your other Transformers needs, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com, linked in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out my G1 playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the G1 Abominus, and this is MGo saying, remember... You don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be proud. Boom in your face. Ah, Abominus. Abominus. I have a mission for you. Probably the most important mission ever. Yeah, what's that? Um, there's something high up on a shelf. I can't reach it. Can you get it for me? Seriously? Now oh, come on, be a pal! Hey, you're the almighty Megatron, I'm sure you can figure it out on your own. I did! By making someone else do it for me! I'm a leader, we don't do work!